Neil deGrasse Tyson was interviewed recently, and the topic of SpaceX, Elon Musk's space program, came up. Now, SpaceX has had a number of successes in the past, um, you know, in terms of satellites and things of that sort. Uh, and look, it's an incredibly inspiring thing for a private corporation to be able to do what SpaceX has done. But Neil deGrasse Tyson does not think that when it comes to the major uh, goals of our space program, things like being able to get humans to Mars, SpaceX simply will not be able to accomplish that. And so this is what uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said. Private enterprise will never lead a space frontier, not because I don't want them to, but because my read of history says they can't. It's not possible. Space is dangerous. It's expensive. There are unquantified risks. Combine all of those under one umbrella. You cannot establish a free market capitalization of that enterprise. And he made an awesome analogy to another sort of new frontier that was broached hundreds of years ago. Now, when uh, Europeans started to try to reach uh, the New World, he says it wasn't the Dutch East uh, India Trading Company that was able to do that. It was governments funding governments' missions. Columbus drew the maps, established where the trade winds were. Where are the hostiles? Where are the friendlies? Is there food there? Can you breathe the air? They come back with this information. Then you can establish a capital market valuation. Now, look, Neil deGrasse Tyson is possibly one of the most intelligent people currently in the world, certainly operating in media today. And so I have to imagine that he knows something about what he's talking about. But on the other side, you have Elon Musk, who seems capable of accomplishing almost anything when he throws millions of dollars at it. Um, my fingers are crossed for the Hyperloop. My fingers are crossed for a $35,000 Tesla. And I hope, too, that SpaceX can get people in the future to Mars. But Neil deGrasse Tyson brings up some very, um, very good points here. Now, the government can certainly put more money than any private corporation can to these lofty goals like traveling to Mars. And... I, I can't even conceive of what the possible health risks, the possible physical risks of traveling to Mars are. Now, Elon Musk and his engineers are super intelligent, and possibly they can solve all these problems. But I think that Neil deGrasse Tyson has a great point. And despite the fact that NASA has been scaled back, budget problems might make it difficult for us to engage in these sorts of very lofty um, interplanetary missions that we might want to go on. And so much of the, the weight of our aspirations in terms of space has been put on private individuals like Elon Musk. But I hope that in the future, the government can contribute, can take up the mantle of space travel once again, because if Neil deGrasse Tyson is right, that's the only way we're going to get to places like Mars and even farther out.